When you capture carbon dioxide and do the gas separation, you don't end up with a pure stream of carbon dioxide. It will always contain other contaminants or impurities within the mixture. So the problem arises when you compress and transport this CO2 for its final storage underground. You'll be compressing this carbon dioxide up to around 150 bar pressures. The pressure of your tyres on your car is around about 2 bar. So you're thinking 75 times the pressure of your the pressure in your car tyres. A group like Unicast has the power to unite totally different people. So I have been working with high pressure carbon dioxide as a solvent for chemical reactions for more than 20 years. I never thought about carbon capture. Within the Department of Chemistry there was a, a huge wealth of experience and uh, an expertise in actually measuring carbon dioxide phase behaviour. So what we've had to do is to use our skill in making up mixtures of gases and apply them with new pit, like this one here, which measures the density. And because you've had rather different mixtures from the ones we've wanted, hydrogen CO2 for example, we've made this machine here, which I think is quite fun. It has a cylinder here with a piston that can go in and out so it can compress the gas, and a little stirrer that goes up and down so that it keeps everything mixed up, so that what we've got in here goes into the density machine and the composition here is the same as that. So it's been quite fun. You've set us engineering challenges <laughs> which we as chemists have managed to answer for. Yeah, I mean, where, where this collaboration is fantastic with Martin is the expertise in pre pre preparing these gas mixtures and getting them into equipment like this and getting meaningful data out of it, um, which is really something that is underestimated by many research groups. Um, and to get really high quality data which is required for the engineering applications you need to develop new equipment like these and new facilities um, to get reliable data that can be transformed when you're designing things such as compressors and pipelines as well. It's been fantastic. I mean the, the expertise, are, there's more than 10 years experience in measuring the phase behaviour of these, these type of mixtures available within the chemistry department and also their expertise and facilities they have in place as well which is something that you would never have built up from scratch or, you know, it's allowed us to really accelerate this program and get the, the results out very quickly, um, which leads us to almost being world leading in terms of being some of the first people in the world to get this data um, into the public domain.